Here we have ear cleaning time. This is our stud Bane. Getting his ears cleaned, Harley's right here. <laughs> yes. So, mastiffs can get ear infections pretty frequently. And part of Jason's job on the day today is cleaning out their ears. We don't do it every day, but it needs to be done frequently. And if they have an ear infection, put in the ear medication. There's Harley girl. Yeah, She's so right. sweet. We have a litter coming up with Harley. You said you saw them tie, right? Yep. I don't remember what day that was, but I have it written down. It was within the last maybe couple of weeks. Yep. Hi, buddy. Now we have uh, we have our stock of straw for a couple of months um, here. And then we have this cool little setup. We have two leads that we can let them out on since we live in town. And they are guard dogs, so we don't want them to have access to the street. Um, but then they get some time in the grass, which they really like. And you don't have to hold on to their leash the whole time. <laughs> so for things like this, and Bane's not used to it yet. He just found the end of his lead. Yeah. <laughs> he he likes to carry his leash in his mouth. <laughs> now well, Harley, the, uh, Harley was in with us for a good what month, month and a half. Yep. I know, I know, I don't like it either, but he Bane, he, he's he's doing good to cooperate this far. Hmm. Usually he he used to get mad. But now he knows it makes him feel better. Mm, yeah. Good boy. So Harley got into a tussle with a another dog who has since been placed on a farm in a pet home. So they will not get into any more tussles. And she lost a little piece of her ear. You can see some of her hairs growing in on her back where it was shaved. So we had a, a large emergency vet bill. So our advice to you about saving for the vet is, if you have English Mastiffs, what would you say, babe? The biggest thing to save money with these beautiful, majestic animals is to do daily maintenance on them. To check them, because uh, I'm telling you something, they may get a wound, and that wound may be treatable, but if you don't, it may turn into a full-blown infection, and $150 is going to cost you $5,000. Or, no, I mean, it doesn't have to be that expensive, but... It could call it will cost you trust me i found it out the hard we went to the emergency vet because we found her uh in the evening and she was not doing good not at all and she had an infection her head was the size of veins um she had a real nasty cut on, on the underneath side of her ear so you couldn't really see it as well like you could tell that she was in pain but you couldn't see how bad it was. So definitely check ears every day. He's doing paws too. So Harley and Bane, they're gonna have a litter in a couple of months, a little less than two months, most likely. Um, we were, Harley was most likely pregnant when she got injured. And so that was kind of disappointing to lose that litter. But she came into heat pretty, I mean, <laughs> right away as soon as her injuries had healed and she went back with Bane, she was in heat right away, um, which we were not expecting. Uh, so we're expecting a first litter from Harley in a little less than two months. Now these puppies are going to definitely be our guard dog line. They'll have fabulous, fabulous genetics. Both parents are big and blocky. Good boy. Um, however, I'm going to tell you, this might be what you want also, both parents are very protective. Bane, not as much as Harley, I would say. What would you say? Bane can be, he, you know, he, he's just as effective, but Bane's They're, more, Bane's more the quiet strike at you type. Harley's the loud, like, come at you. Harley will bark and bark and bark if she doesn't know you. Oh, yeah. And both of them have these deep, intimidating barks. Oh, yeah, they're scary. <laughs> Do you want to tell them about that tool you're using that he's loving? Well, 
thinks it's a toy, but it's really a, a human toy for grooming. This is the Furminator, and I love it because you just push that button and all that hair just falls out. <laughs> he's like, don't stop, yeah, he's like, don't Daddy, stop. Come on, don't stop, please. <laughs> but, you know, he, he's been long overdue for a grooming. Usually you just groom them once or twice a week and they're good. They're really, really low maintenance as far as it goes. You would think that they shed more, but if you keep them clean, I know, Bub. <laughs> I'm trying my best. So, yeah, Mastiffs are a fantastic breed of dog that I absolutely love, but they do come with their own set of challenges. Like, I like them better than other breeds. I used to have Labrador Retrievers. I actually like the Mastiffs better, but the Mastiffs require a higher level of expertise and care. Um, so, whereas a lab will just love everybody, you can break into their house and they're gonna come ask you for pets. Um, a Mastiff, Mastiffs can be wary of strangers, um, depending on their personality and how they're socialized. So you definitely wanna make sure they're socialized well as a puppy. We were just at the vet's office today and she was talking about how they've been getting in these COVID puppies that have been raised during COVID, so they haven't really been socialized. Um, as I think it was the vet tech that was saying, they haven't really been socialized <laughs> like, <laughs> like normal. And, um, and so they're like terrified of everybody. Well, if you own a Mastiff puppy, you need to make sure you're socializing it or that you have one with a chill temperament. Bane and Harley's puppies, um, they will be love bugs but they are also going to have most likely this protective oh, yeah. gene. Oh, very protective. And Her guard dog gene is off the charts. How I know this is because we have, um, we have four Mastiffs. One, two, three, five if you, we have three mas three adult Mastiffs, and we have two um, half-grown puppies that we were going to <laughs> add to our program, but we decided... <laughs> We can't, we don't have the space. We're not moving to more acreage like we thought we were, so. I know, babe. I know, I know. It's coming. Hold on. Hold on. Anyway, so out of the Mastiffs that we've had over the years, we have learned. You see how he rolls on his back like that? He her lead is cutting into his head. Out of the Mastiffs we've had over the years, we've learned they have different personalities. So, for example, Nina is our brindle that's about to have puppies. And... She is a lot more sensitive. <laughs> Whereas Harley and Bane, you would for sure not want to mess with us if Harley and Bane were around. Because they are very very protective um we had another dog mia that oh. was <laughs> she was oh. just so calm and oh. around Bud. strangers like she was cool with strangers Shh. and um and harley and bane they were both as puppies they were um house dogs with families we adopted them when they were a year or two old um <laughs> separately hey, look, he his leg. <laughs> he's liking this grooming session hello buddy I gotta get you back see oh, stop. fresh BD. oh dear let's go back over here Abby. all right I'm down to I got the 10% warning, so I'm turning this video off. <laughs>